Okay, lift your toes, feet hip width apart. Spread them out really wide, but remember, no gripping. So that base of the toe, all of the foot area is supporting you along with the heel. But those toes aren't crimping down, so that that base of the toe area is supporting. Sitting bones toward the floor, ribs in and up, get that core active. Pull those shoulders back and down. Just feel the whole body lengthen as you come into mountain pose. Take a few moments just breathing inwardly. Focus on that breath, drawing in. Energy and awareness coming in. Exhaling stress and tension. And just take a few moments to get that yoga centering, focused on what your body is telling you. And when you're ready, inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out and keep the shoulders down. Hands to your heart, elbows slightly back, heart opening. Inhale, way out to the front, shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands just gently behind you. Press the hands toward the floor, lift your heart, spread your toes, stretch your spine. And then pivot at your hips as you exhale, come on all the way down. Take a few breaths there, lifting your sitting bones, getting the back of your body starting to stretch. Circle your chin a few times each way. Release the back of the neck. Knees slightly bent. And start with the sitting bones down as you find all the way to the top. And lift your heart. Stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too high. Spread your toes. And don't forget to keep breathing. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feeling what's going on through your spine, getting a little more activated. And again, inhale, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, and again, lift into the back bend and pivot over into the forward position. Sitting bones up, head down, or closer to your knees if that works. Hands going toward your head, and let those shoulders release. And then again, bend your, knee, bend your knees as you slowly come up, and lift your foot. Stretch your head back, not crunching the neck. Inhale upright, release your arms, and again, just observe how that stimulation through your back, through your body, moves through. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your hands and pull the arms back by your ears. Stretch up and lean, no twist over to the side. Take a moment to push the foot you're leaning away from down. Reach out through your head and your hands. You know, shoulder blades still go toward your waist. You know, a little challenge for your mind. And then inhale back upright and switch the other hand to the front. And again, pull the arms near your ears, everything straight. Lean to the side with a twist for that opening through the ribs. Put down, hands head reaching away. Keep breathing, lengthen. And again, coming back upright, exhale into them. Check your shoulders, they should still be there. Spread those toes, we're gonna stretch the spine apart for our twist. Arms to shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Pull the arms near your ears, stretch that spine really open, exhale, and turn to the side. Take a breath, keep the weight on both feet evenly, and exhale, pivoting over. As you come down, keep the arms by your ears, pull the body toward that leg, but still keep the weight on both feet. And then again, on an inhalation, come on all the way up and lift your heart. So upper body back bend, especially when you're twisted, because that low back can overdo it. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. Again, stretch everything apart and twist to the other side. Another breath, and pivot over as you exhale. Take a moment and breathe. Lift your spinning bones, 
Pull the body towards your leg. And then slowly inhale your way up. Lift your heart. Drop your shoulders. Pull your elbows back. And again, upper body back bend, lifting into it. Inhale, upright. Exhale, round to the center. Bring your arms straight up above your shoulders, extending them. Feel those feet, let them support you evenly. And just continue reaching out through the fingertips, through the head. Pull the shoulders, shoulder blades down towards your waist. Take a moment. Sink evenly into the base of the toes and heels. Feel that support all the way through your bones, up through the legs, through the torso. Reach toward the ceiling. Keep those shoulder blades toward your waist. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that core. Make sure those ribs are still toward your spine and up, keeping that low back nicely supported. Take a moment, just lengthening and breathing. Feeling this extending mat, really extending. Notice how your arms are feeling. Whether you're going, oh my gosh, when is she going to move us? Take a moment and just sink into it and focus on your feet being so supportive, on your bones being so supportive. Just not noticing any discomfort because everything is aligned appropriately to support you. Take another breath, really stretch up through your crown, down with the shoulder blades, and don't forget to relax. Okay, palms out, pivot forward, straight out, stretch again, and drop into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper, get that back, releasing a little bit more. Circle your chin around both ways. Tuck it in, stretch the back of your neck, and then release your hands. And again, just wind slowly back up, bring your shoulders back and down a few times, releasing any tension and tightness through that neck area. And that's backstroke and swimming, getting those shoulders moving a little bit more. Take a moment and just let your whole body work with that. Feel the spine moving. So your hip is kind of shifting forward as you bring that hand forward and then moving back. So you're actually getting, getting a little rotation through the whole torso. And then bring both arms up, stretch shoulders down, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, crown toward the ceiling, back into that extended now, and then stretch one side up, come up on the opposite toes so the heel is lifted. The side you're stretching, the foot is flat. Feel those ribs open, that side really lengthen. Exhale that side down, other one up. And again, on your toe, on that opposite foot. And release. Hook your thumbs, bring both arms up. Come into a little back bend, lifting your heart, looking overhead. And then separate your hands, pivot forward. Drop into ragdoll. Just take a moment and breathe, lifting the sitting bones, stretching the back of your legs. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretching straight and through the spine. So those shoulder blades go toward your waist always. And sitting bones back, ribs up and toward your heart. So you're getting that dynamic stretch through the whole torso. And then drop your hands again, bend your knees slightly, do our wind up, feeling all those bones moving into place. And again, a few circles for the shoulders, releasing through the arms. And then bring your arms to shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together. We'll pull the elbows back, opening the heart. And then fingertips together, keep those elbows shoulder level. And then bring your arms all the way out and around toward the back. You can bring them in touch if that works for your shoulders or just, you know, straight back or, you know, wherever your arms go. And then bring your hands back to the center. Elbows back, fingertips separating together, all the way out, really opening across the heart. Keep those shoulders going down and bring the fingertips back together. Release your arms and just take a moment 
again, feeling that upper body. Circle the shoulders a few times. Forward and back. And bring your arms to shoulder level. Turn the palms up and spread your fingers. And some big circles. Getting those shoulders opening and working. And then smaller circles. And then stop. Turn the palms down and circle the other way. Big circles to start. And smaller as you get finished. And then stretch it out. Push to one side. Keep the hips over the ankles. Just feel those ribs open. Stretch to the other side. And back to the center. Turn the palms up. Look overhead and bring your hands together. And exhale, hands to your heart. Bring the fingertips toward the front. So your hands are in prayer position. The fingertips are going out and down. Feel those wrists work a little bit. And then fingertips back up. And then angle toward you, pushing the heels of the palms out. And fingertips back up. And release. Circle those arms both ways. And release. Take a moment back in mountain pose. Feeling your shoulders, feeling your body. Exhale, tension. And then bring one arm out in front, palm toward the center. Bend your elbow, fingertips straight up to the ceiling, so a 90 degree angle with your knee. Bring it right in front of your face. Take the other arm out, palm toward the floor. Swing it under and bring your hands together in front of your nose. So if you can reach your palms together, you can do that. If you can't, just bring the backs of your hands toward each other. And then bring your elbows down and in. And then push the elbows slightly out and bring the hands higher toward the ceiling. And again, just feel what's going on through that shoulder area. Relax it, don't force it. Just allow your hands to go just as high as they want. Exhale, feet are hip width apart. And then bend your knees slightly. And focus on your foot that your upper arm is, where it's crossed. And keep that foot down, spreading the toes out, getting balanced on it. Lift the other leg, bring it across, and tuck that foot toward or behind your calf. So eagle pose. Take a breath. Uncross the legs. And release the arms, fly away. So of course you know what we have to do next. Yeah, do it on the other side. So left arm out, bending the elbow, right arm to the side, palm down. Swing it under, see if you can hold those palms together or the backs of hands. Elbows down and in, feel those shoulders work. Just relax it, push the elbows slightly out, Bring the hands higher up toward the ceiling. And then the other foot sinks down. Get base of your body sinking evenly into the base of your toes and heel on that foot. Bring the other leg up. Cross it up and over. And see if you can wrap it around to the back of the calf. And again, as deeply into that as your body wants to go, you can be slightly bent there at the hip joint as you come into that position. Just notice how your body balances or doesn't. And then releasing the leg, coming back into mountain pose, feet two foot apart. Release the arms and again, just open them out as you fly away, big eagle soaring through the sky. And release into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling all that work through the shoulders. And then bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, follow them up. Pull the thumbs back, a nice little back bend, lifting your heart, stretching your head away. Separate your hands, swan dive forward, chest leading over, and all the way to your Hands up on your shins under your knees, halfway up stretch, 
elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then bending your knees, exhale to the floor into child's pose for our transition to the mat. Yes, back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Take a breath. Just relax. Everything releasing. Feel that whole shoulder area rolling forward. A good stretch across the back of your body. And on an inhalation, come on up and into stacked position. Take a moment there, just sitting bones behind you. Everything stacked and supportive, core activated, shoulders down, crown to the ceiling. Take a breath, exhale, all that tightness. And then, oh, let's just go into a cross leg position as you're ready with those sitting bones back and your spine nice and straight, exhaling any tightness through the ribs. And if you're a creature of habit, as we usually are, switch your legs around and come into that opposite position. So again, the sitting bones are slightly behind you. You can remember a pad if you need to for a little opening through the hips if that's not quite comfortable. Shoulders down, we're gonna do a breathing exercise. So bring your fingertips to your middle of your torso right around that solar plexus ribs area. And just put them there. We're gonna do a breathing that seems like it's just an exhalation, but don't worry, your body will automatically inhale for you. So just through your mouth initially, just blow out like you're blowing a candle. So if that works okay, we're gonna change it to the nose. If you can't quite do it with the nose, you can keep doing it a few times with the mouth. So just an emphatic exhalation. As you finish the exhalation, your body automatically will pull that breath in. So don't worry about the inhalation, you don't need to do anything with it. So just keep exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. So do it about 10 times. And then just breathe normally after you've done your test. And as your fingertips are there, you'll notice there's a pretty decent contraction going on through that middle of your body. When you cough, similar things are going on. If you have any coughing period in your life, you'll know that your abs really work when you cough. But this breath is similar to that. It's toning your abs as you're doing it. It's also building the energy and heat in the middle of your body. So it is a warming breath. So go ahead, switch your legs around just because we like to do that. And we're gonna do that breath one more time. So again, fingertips to your midsection, shoulders down and back, sitting bones slightly behind your crown or reaching to the ceiling and we're gonna breathe. Now let's do it 10 times again. And then again, just breathe normally. You can release your hands. Just feel a little bit more warmth through the middle of your body. Keep lengthening up through the back of your neck, through your head. Keep those shoulders down, released. Just notice how your body responds. And then let's work the neck a little bit. So bring that chin into your little throat center indentation at the base of your throat. Feel the back of your neck getting a little bit more stretch. And then bring your hands one at a time to the back of your head. And remember, no pressure, just a little extra weight to give a stretch there. Take a moment and breathe. As you exhale, just feel the stretch along the back of your neck. And if you want, you can do that breath again. And then breathing normally, bring your hands down, and tip your head back up, right? Stretch through the base of your skull at the back of your neck, and then lift your chin slightly and look up and bring your forehead toward the ceiling. Head slightly back, feel the back of the neck stretch a little bit, throat stretch a little bit. And then bring your hands to the front of your forehead. And again, no pressure, just a little bit of weight Bringing your chin a little bit higher, perhaps. 
feeling that back of the neck, base of the skull stretched out and away. Keep your shoulders going down. Just notice how that's working. And then press your forehead slightly into your hands. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright. Shoulders circling back and down, relaxing. Let's just switch those legs around again because why not? So again, sitting bones behind you, core active, shoulders relax. Take a moment to breathe. We're going to tip the chin or the ear over to one shoulder. So remember, both shoulders stay down. The ear just goes as far as it wants. It'll never make it to the shoulder. Don't worry about that. We're stretching the opposite side of the neck. Just let that happen. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up. Just, again, add weight, not pressure with the hand to the side of your head. That will intensify that stretch a little bit more. Don't go too far. Just be gentle and breathe with it. And then you can bring the other hand to the floor or fingertips down if you want a little even more stretch. So breathe. Exhale, tension. Just release and relax. Let it stretch. Feel this tightness, let it go. And then release both hands. And tip your head back up. Feel the difference because that's the yoga of it, noticing what's going on for you. And we're going to tip the ear to the other side. So go ahead and move that ear over. Shoulders relaxing down on both arms, both sides. And the other side, you tip toward, that hand comes up. And again, a little extra weight, not pressure, feeling that stretch lengthening again. By relaxing, it'll stretch maybe a little bit more, let it happen. If you love it again, you can put the hand or fingertips down, whatever works for your arm. And don't forget to breathe. Exhale any tightness. Take a breath. Release any tension. Let it get a good stretch. And then again, releasing your hands. Tip your head back up and feel it. Everything straighten and stretch a little bit more. Oh, and let's switch the legs again. Yeah, because we forgot to. Sitting bones behind you, stretch it up. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. Get a good stretch through the whole spine. And we're going to do a twist with just the neck this time. So go ahead, lengthening up. Turn your chin toward one shoulder. So it's the backing out of the driveway position. Just relax both shoulders down. Turn as far toward that side as your head wants to go. And then breathe and relax. Head reaching up. The more you stretch it apart, the more it's got room to move. And a little deeper if it wants to go. And then keep stretching it up. Turn your face back to the center. Keep stretching it up. We're going to turn to the opposite side. Again, see if you can see whatever's behind you. Lengthening and breathing, keeping the shoulders down, keeping the crown reaching up, keeping those bones of your spine as open as possible so they have room to twist maybe a little bit more as you relax into it. Keep breathing. Tension out as you exhale. And then again, stretching up, turning back to the center. Feel all your neck area a little bit more open and stretched out. Take a breath. Lift your knees and bring the legs back out into staff position. Pressing out through the heels, pushing the toes back towards you slightly, letting the back of the legs get a good stretch along the floor. Make sure those sitting bones are slightly behind you so you've got a good pivot there at the hip joint. We're going to stretch the spine long. Bring the chin toward your throat center. Keep stretching through the back of your neck as you exhale. We're going to wind all the way down as far as your breath wants to bring you into that rounded position. And whenever you get as deep into that as you want, just take a few breaths there, relaxing. Kneecaps towards your thighs, tightening the front of your thighs so those backs of the legs keep sinking down. 
And then starting at the bottom of the spine, wind your way back up as you breathe in, coming all the way back up and into that straight staff position. As you get back up, we'll reach the ground toward the ceiling. Feel those sitting bones supporting you. Feel the legs, let them stretch out through the heels. And we're going to do that again, tucking gently through the chin, slightly toward your chest, and rounding your spine just one bone at a time, exhaling the whole way into your forward bow. And then just breathing a few times as you get that whole back of your body stretching into a nice forward bend. And then inhaling, starting at the bottom of your spine, wind back all the way up. And again, into staff position, stretching that crown of your head straight up as you get to the top. Keep those shoulders relaxing. Keep that core activated, supporting your spine. Don't forget to keep stretching up, lengthening through the bones. One more time, bowing forward, exhaling, just rolling slowly into that position as you bow forward. As you get to the bottom again, just pause. You can hold the breath out for a little bit longer if you'd like. And then when it's time for an inhalation, start at the bottom of the spine and again come all the way back up. Keep focusing inward, lengthening as you get to the top. Don't forget to breathe. Shoulders are down. Core is supporting you. Heels are pressing out. Crown is pressing. And then shift your feet to the end of the mat. We're going to use that core support just to slowly roll back. So we pause there. Feel that core working. And just a little lower. And again, pause. Keep pushing out through your feet, through the heels, toes up. Roll a little bit further. Get that spine starting to connect and slowly fall the way to the floor. Let's get onto the mat. Just take a moment, move your head around, relax your shoulders down. Take a breath. We're going to take our hands, palms down, put the thumbs under your hips, under your buttocks, palms to the floor. Pull the elbows way in toward your side. Press into your forearms and elbows and sit back up part way, looking at your feet. We're going to go into a back bend called fish. So this is pretty intense. So if you don't want to go too far, you can just raise your chest and look up toward the ceiling and push your head straight back. If you want to go into the full fish, just keep dropping the top crown of your head toward the floor. So that from the sitting bones to the top of your head is all arched up in a back bend. Take a moment there. Just lift your ribs, lift your heart, shoulder blades toward your waist, round toward the floor. If you don't make it to the floor, just keep supporting yourself on your forearms. If you do, you can release your hands into prayer position on top of your ribs, fingertips toward the ceiling. And just allow that whole back of your body to support you. So if you've done that, bring your hands back down. Elbows to the floor. Lift your head. Tuck your chin slightly. And roll your whole body back down to the mat. Take a breath. And just relax. Bring your hands up to T position. Palms up or down for our final twist. Sitting bones toward your heels back down. Draw your heels to your hips and your knees above your hips. Roll the knees straight over to the side and turn your head toward the other direction. Coming into your bent knee twist as much as you want. Remember, you can pad under your knees if you want. Keep the shoulders down for that middle back to twist. Keep your head turning for that neck area twist as much or as little as your neck knees. And just let those knees come down, lower back twist. When the heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, straighten it out if you need to. And knees above your hips, roll over, knees right straight toward the floor at hip level. Turn your 
Head the opposite direction. Keep those shoulders down. Maximize your twist, whatever your body needs today. Just balancing and aligning through your body before our final relaxation. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, feet to the floor, slide them out, hands, palms up at your sides, shoulders down, and the into corpse position for the final relaxation. Deep breath in, exhale, let everything go. And just allow your body to soften, let it sink deep into that surface beneath you, knowing that Mother Earth will support you. Just deepen into that earth embrace and let everything go, just heavy, soft, sinking. As your body relaxes even more, just allow awareness of your body to release from your attention. As those thoughts are released, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Thoughts flowing in, and out, just like your breath, flowing in and out. Breathing with the rhythm of the universe, just like the waves floating up to the shore, deepening into that inner breath, inner awareness, deepening your body into that birth embrace. Freeing your mind just to float without attention to any thoughts. And allow your awareness to turn toward that peace within. Fill your mind with peace. Fill your body with peace. And take a few moments feeling peace. If you have longer to relax today, take all the opportunity you have. If it's time to prepare for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the one, to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. When you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, as you're sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself an appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your feet to the floor, head down, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.